Hey everybody, I just bought this little butane torch at the gas station. I bought it to burst bubbles when I'm doing resin pendants and, and all that. Like these. And these. And this one I just did a video on, a little advert. It's a dragon pendant. Little dragon pendant. I'll leave a link to my store so you can check them out. But this video is about, oh, we've got hairs on it and everything. Things I haven't looked at in a long time. Now this is a box that I've not opened in, in a long while. And I know it's my music stuff box, but these are like things that, well, we'll look. Let's see what's in it. A lot of people like looking through, um, you know, <laughs> things that have been closed off for a while. You can see the ring here, um, 17 gauge Ernie Ball. Here's a pack of regular slinkies. So if my strings break, I've got a whole pack that's sealed and ready to go little cover for um, a CD, probably software for music, 46 gauge, here's classical guitar strings, here's a CD or DVD, oh, The Beatles, Hard Day's Night, this is disc number two. Supplemental material. <laughs> Here's more Ernie Ball. Different gauges. So I've got plenty. Here's another classic guitar. This pack's open. So I've been grabbing from this sometime in the past. Sometimes I forget and purchase when they do break the strings on the classic guitar and I'll just uh, purchase another pack not remembering that I have a pack and so I have these residual ones here's a Ernie Ball that I can throw away here's Samson Samsung HD camcorder camcorder I don't know oh we have these little drum remo accessories here for the uh, the kick drum. I've got a little pad there. When you hit the uh, the pedal and it smacks into the kick drum, it hits this and protects the uh, skin. Here's an old school, I don't know if they even sell these anymore, Korg uh, tuner. I bet you it's, uh, it's still it still works. You can see that right there. Yeah, testing. Well, yeah, it still works. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. See the little lights? Testing one, two. See, testing one, two. <laughs> it still works. Um, guitar tuner. It's got a quarter inch jack input it's got the speaker to take in the uh, the sound I don't wonder this is to open it up I haven't used this much <laughs> Martin guitar picks but there's more than Martin guitar picks in here I think Got these plastic guitars 
with texture on it for grip and I can't really read what it's it's nylon made in the US these are probably the Martins let me get my magnifying glass here even with the magnifying glass I can't see what the heck that is it says Herco on it I don't know where I got these um, these aren't I have not used these I bought these a while back and I guess I don't even know when I bought it but the ones that I typically like to use are this this type these are the Martins these are the ones that I typically like to use but I haven't gotten around to using those I mostly play with something like this that I have somewhere on my desk so here's a yellow can you read that? you see what it says Dunlop um <laughs> So that's what's inside the mark, and I have some extra picks in there. There's a harmonica. I've used these to record with. Here's another harmonica. Blues harp. In the key of C. This one's practically brand new. They make different uh, keys, different harmonicas with different uh, keys. So that one's got its case. Got another harmonica here. Different keys. I can't really make out the uh, the key so that's that <laughs> and here we have some 3D glasses. I've got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> 3D glasses. And these were for a movie. I forget which movie. It had Antonio Vanderas. It was like a comical type of uh, movie. Like with superhero kids. Maybe you guys remember which one I'm talking about. But, um,. This came in the DVD whenever that came out. And I like the idea of 3D. Here's another harmonica. It's uh, green. Here's a guitar um, strap for acoustic guitars. You hook this in the sound hole, and this goes over your your neck, and then this just hangs down. And this hooks around the bottom and onto the sound hole, and it holds your guitar. I bought this a long, long time ago. This is probably 1990s. Here's a kazoo. And these are fun. I bought this when I heard uh, Eric Clapton playing that on the uh, Unplugged. And I've used it to do a couple of, of things. They're really fun. Honer.
Here's a capo. This one's really old. This goes back maybe to the early, early 90s, 91, 92, 93. And um, this system is, well, basically you just wrap this around the fret that you want to capo or, or finger. And um, it holds, you know, it presses down and you can play, you can change the, uh, the key that you're playing the guitar in. So this one's really old. Who knows where I bought this. Here's some rubber bands for microphones. So you can have the shock mount and the microphone is suspended without um, vibration so you can sing and do your performance and record and whatnot. Got a bunch of more of these picks. These are the picks that usually for years I've used this type of pick. These are the ones I, I, I typically go go to. These picks here, which we mentioned before. Although I like these, these are a little bit more rigid. Um, just a bunch of different picks. Here's a a nice pearl pick. Another nylon one. Here's a bass pick. It's got, it's sort of like a textile, sort of like a, um, I don't know what you, to, to call it. Maybe you guys could tell me, but a bass pick. I play bass mostly with a, a pick. Not all the time. But here's a little guitar pen, which, now thinking about it, I could probably turn into a resin casting. <laughs> I just I just might do that. Little guitar pin. That is pretty neat. Now you put that to the side. I forget who, who gave me this. It could have been my aunt. Look at that. That's pretty cool put it to the side. Um, here's a funky guitar pick. Is that totally 80s or what? Let me see what this says. So Maccabees is a pick I purchased at a guitar shop in L.A. Maccabees in L.A. That was like in 2000 or 2001, something like that. Or it could have been 99, 2000, 2000, one of those three years. Here's a Guitar Center pick. little Allen wrench for guitar whatever instrument here's another Maccabee in black here's some fender picks it's a little bit more of a softer gauge I'm not too fond of these I know the thrash metal guys at least back in the day because you go you know you can work it real quick but I I'm not too fond of it we have quarter inch jacks for earphones and connections guitars and recording and all that we got more of that there's an ex adapter here Here's a tool, I guess for the guitar, I don't know what tool, where this came, you know, what this belongs to, but it's part of, 
I guess if I need to fix some, some that particular instrument, I'll figure out it's this. Just a bunch of more picks and stuff. Here's a funky one. I don't know what that says. Or I might have gotten that. Let me see what that says with my magnifying glass. Okay, this is Mars Music. I think that that's now closed. Mars Music. That no longer exists. That's it. I'll catch you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like this sort of thing. I've got other boxes of stuff I don't know. Family stuff and all that. Little boxes. I might do it again if you dig it. Subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time.